All right, welcome to another edition of Ark Survival of All Lost Island Edition with Soto Desperado. I've got a 140 Griffin in there. It was, when I found it, it was embedded in the rock. Inside the rock. I managed to shoot it one time. As you can see, it says Wild 140 Griffin. The thing about Griffins is, um, you know, you tame them like an RG. But this one is already caught. I managed to shoot it that one time, but I couldn't get it anymore. So it went into the wood here. So what I was thinking of doing, besides making sure this thing uh, uh, is not going to leave, just try to make this, sure those things are high enough. Um, this is wood, mostly. So I won't have much time to tame it. So I have to hurry and try to get it down. I'm gonna turn my turn my hourglass off. Where's my there it is. Alright, there we go. So I didn't have any parts, so as you can see, I just grab whatever I can grab and um, did that. Pause it real quick. Ah, damn it. Sorry, I gotta get situated here. My apologies. I'm not having much luck as far as getting everything ready. Alright, I'll be right back. One second.
All right, sorry about that. Got caught by surprise there. Thought I was good to go. Now, being diabetic, you uh, go to the bathroom a lot, so yeah, you drink a lot and you go to the bathroom a lot. So my goal is to see if this cage will hold. It may not hold, but I sure as I'm gonna try to get this son of a bitch. Let's see, right here should do it. Okay. Oh, there's another rock there. Uh oh. Oh, he's he's not even anywhere near down. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Once he gets out of that wood. Damn, I thought I'd be able to do more to him. Look at that shit, man. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him halfway. Shit, I missed that one. Son of a bitch. Might get him, might get him. Almost, come on. Oh, he's running now. He's running. Shoot him in the ass. <laughs> he's running. He's running, that son of a bitch is running. Son of a bitch is running. One more hit should do it. Come on. There you go, bitch. Mine. Now, of course, the only thing I have would be uh, the, the meat is this right now. I can get them with raw prime meat better. Let's see if I can go out and find some raw prime meat. All right, so let's drop all of that. Drop all of that. Let's go get some raw prime meat. If I can find anything. Prime. I don't think those guys get prime. Alright, come on, you little shits. Oh, there we go. These guys will give me one prime. Right here. That'll make him, him tame faster. You know, maybe it's me, but I think that the wyvern on this personal server of mine is slower than normal. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. Let's get this in there. Okay, it hasn't eaten yet. So it'll eat the raw prime first as opposed to the cooked prime, but I'll leave the cooked prime in there anyway, just in case. Now, the reason why this is a, such a good find is, A, you have to tame them like RGs. And as you know, RGs, you got to have a trap and all that shit or they'll fly away. Or you can you can try to get lucky. Like a low-level RG, if you have a good enough crossbow, you can take it down, no problem, by yourself just running in a circle. You know, for your first RG, like 20 cents was my first RG. And I just shot him. You know, I didn't make a trap. Uh, but I did have to follow him around and all that crap. But anyway, uh, the point is that for something like this, the important thing is I believe you can shoot off the back of it, which means I might be able to tame Gigas with this Griffin. That's why it's important. It's not for any other reason. It's not because it's a Griffin. I'm not Griffin crazy. Matter of fact, I never really liked them very much, frankly, because of the way you have to fly with them. You have to kind of dive to get speed, and I don't like that. To me, that's just stupid. If you dive, if, to me, if you're on any any bird and you dive, you should be going faster anyway because gravity affects all birds the same way. 
but for some reason they designed this one to do that and it needs to dive to go and get acceleration so uh, like the pterodon has to do a barrel roll this guys have to do a dive and uh, that's why I never liked it but you should be able to shoot off the back of it and tame something while in midair you know so basically you put the back of the bird towards the target then you turn around and shoot off the back of the bird so that you don't hit the bird you hit the target um, so when it comes to gigas you'd be able to theoretically tame a giga using that but it would take forever but you could um, you could always use this to lure a giga into a trap if you want to have a trap so anyway that's why it's important so uh, since our last episode I've made some changes I got the soul gems or the soul traps activated as you can see right there that right there it gives you the number of points remember I told you last time it gives you the percentages this gives you the points this has 38 health 42 stamina 42 oxygen all that's important it gives you the colors and it also gives you the stats on the right hand side you can see the stat value or the uh, yeah so yeah it calls it the status values but anyway the point is that I got the points now and I don't have to worry about maintaining these with electricity or using uh, any exotic ingredients it's just crystal so I got that mod updated and the S plus mod how are we doing here all right so now I'm gonna have to put some narc in there I don't want to lose it yeah I'll lose some efficiency but that's fine just don't want to lose the actual bird 99.9% .9%, that's not bad that means I didn't screw up the tame so these things I, you can't breed them that's another reason I don't like them I can I can power breed an RG no problem you know I can mutate this son of a bitch to the point where he'll poke anything's eyes out but this son of a bitch it's it doesn't have a sex see it says there Griffin 140 NA which means the sex is not applicable there's no sex so you can't breed them and they're like arthropleura I think you can't breed arthropleuras and there's certain things you cannot breed and you can clone them like if you wanted more of these you could clone another griffin you know another 140 griffin but you can't breed them which means you can't consolidate the statistics you can't consolidate all the stats to find like a, a, a peak level griffin which also pisses me off because I can I did that for the birds over there in scorched earth I did that many times for many different creatures carnos uh, what else did I do raptors uh, what else did I breed oh shit a bunch of stuff you know sharks I, I consolidated sharks those megalodons you know without the ability to consolidate you really have whatever nature decides to provide innately and that's it okay looks like it's good in there all right so hard part is going to be getting all that shit off in there uh, don't need any of this anymore might keep those some miho berries oh, uh, the reason why I took off from the base is I was trying to find a fomia because we got a bug last time you know one of those little oil bugs which has been creating fertilizer as we go um, but without the fomia you don't have enough manure to, to feed it you don't have enough manure to feed it so that's a problem so anyway good news I did finish the ship I don't have all the electronics and all that stuff in there I have to really think about how I do it because I'm gonna have to do gun placement especially on the on the back side of the ship where the where the base is the mini base and when you guys see it I'll fly back over there and I'll show it to you and you'll see what I'm talking about it's really nice I, I use my uh, dark blue navy color and I use the, that flamboyant pink kind of like what I'm wearing now like right here you got that flamboyant pink <laughs> I could swap that out later if I want to, but I really don't care. It's, you know, it's a personal server. 
There we go. Let's get a let's get a, a shot here. Let's get a shot here. Let's see. Let me try this. Yeah, he beat the shit out of that. He damaged the crap. Oh wow, look. Uh, no, he's a griffin. So is undoubtedly a sight to behold. Many ancient myths tell of various depictions of the griffin over the ages. Oh. But what is never disputed is its majestic and mysterious nature. With the front half of an eagle and the back half of a lion, it is as if these two creatures somehow fused together to form a superior land and air predator. While one's first instinct might be to approach the creature and marvel at its beauty, that would be a very poor decision. Its range of attacks makes it one of the most versatile predators I've witnessed. If its presence alone isn't enough to intimidate potential hunters, it has the ability to dive from the sky to the ground with such force that it inflicts damage to anyone unfortunate enough to be below it, or carry its momentum back into a rapid uplift. The idea of pacifying such a beast is nothing to scoff at. Its highly independent nature and disinterest with interacting with humans, combined with its power and strength, make the griffin a challenge to domesticate. However, there have been those who are fearless enough to attempt and succeed at this miraculous feat. Once tamed, riding atop a griffin along with a tribe mate passenger, dashing through the air at high speed is a prize in and of itself. Wow. I didn't even know that was here. Oh, Helena. She's one of my favorite. I like that crazy Aussie. All right. So as you can see, he damaged the shit out of it. Where's the dossier, though? I don't see it anywhere. I didn't see it anywhere in the ground. I'm looking for the dossier. I'm wondering if it was under this rock or something. Because it looks like this guy was trapped between two rocks. Let's see. Yeah, it has to be a... Oops. There has to be something here. Okay. I don't know if this guy... Oh, yeah, he doesn't need a saddle. Okay. There you go. Put you there for a second. Stay there. Griffin 209. Where's the dossier? So anyway, I put the uh, stone fence foundations and those little doorways to box it in. Uh, and I have to just make sure I clear it out. If nobody else is here. I don't like to be all dirty when it comes to this stuff. I wonder why Helena got activated. Usually you don't get a, a thing like that unless you hit some sort of a... You know what I mean? You would have had to have hit some sort of a... Um, there we go. Do you guys see the note anywhere? There's supposed to be a note officially somewhere. I don't see any notes anywhere. 
I was thinking maybe the notes under all this brush. Huh, where's the note? I mean, I was just standing right here. I wasn't doing anything. I don't see a note anywhere. These are all just crap that I threw on the ground. Normally there's a note. Hmm. Does, does taming a griffin for the first time trigger the note? It's supposed to be like a like a small vase or like a, a box, like a metal box. It's not supposed to be just like that. That's weird. Huh. I don't know. That's just weird. That's supposed to not be that way at all. And I got to level up too. Um, anyway. Let's see. Let's test out my theory. I think you can shoot off of it. Yes, you can. Ah, but you gotta shoot, like, carefully. Like, if I do this... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt the animal. Oh, or does it? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so you can go forward. There we go. So now I can try to tame the Giga like this right there there we go see I never use these damn things but I did use one one time some guy gave one to me and I was like you go down like this and it allows you to go fast you see as long as you dive alright so it was all because it glitched out inside of a rock isn't that nice look at that Looks like this rock. I just don't understand where Helena's message is. I don't see it here anywhere. It would be in this area if that were the case. Because remember, as soon as she, as soon as it tamed, all of a sudden it triggered. I'm trying to figure out why that is. Hmm. I think later on I'll. Uh, I'll do some uh, work here. Try to figure out what's going on. Um, let's see. Wait. I'll put some more weight on you. Because I'm going to need to carry all my taming shit while I'm on you. Let's put you away. Oh, yeah. Let's name it. It looks like a boy. Uh, options. Helian. There we go. In honor of Helena. Crazy woman. Anyway. All right. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> it gives it an orange hue. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to want to keep the Miho berries. That. Okay, so let's put some there, put the bird away, 
Or it probably doesn't have nothing. Alright, Robin's away. So, anyway, like I was saying, I was just looking for a Fomia. And, um... I'm going to have to look up the Griffin Lost Island thing and see, see where we are. See, we're here on the map. Let's screenshot the map. I'm curious as to why that went off, but I don't see... I don't see anything here. I just don't see a damn thing. That's weird. You know what? Come to think of it, I don't see any of the... You know, since I've been playing on this server, I haven't seen any of those little notes or anything. Maybe the note is there, but it's invisible. Maybe I'm, I'm glitching out somehow and not able to see the notes that are supposed to be visible to me as little jars and stuff like that. That would explain why I haven't gotten anything and haven't seen anything. It must be glitching. So anyway, let's go back to the base. Well, that's a much nicer island there, actually. Let's see, where am I? Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, look at this. Look at that. See, normally there'd be a note here somewhere where I would get an experience boost of some sort. Oh, wow. Not much here. Fallen pillars. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't think I've seen any notes here. At all. That's weird. I gotta find out why. Uh, I, what I'll do is I'll look up uh, Lost Island Griffin notes. And uh, let me go back home. Go back this way. And I just think that's weird. Hmm. So now I can tame a Giga. If I find a good Giga, I can throw it out there and try to tame it. But the problem with Giga is you need huge amounts of narc. You, I mean, like stacks of narc, like a thousand narc. You need a shitload of bullets. You need a gun that's going to do significant damage. I mean, mine does. It's a good. It's a good caliber. But I mean, you really, really got to be ready for that sort of thing. It's not just about having the Griffin. That's why I said, you know what, I'll just put points into weight because I know I'll be carrying a lot of shit to do that at that point. I only found one level 20 Giga. It's not even worth taming. See if I can get this drop real quick. As you can see, I do not leave the mount. <laughs> Unless I have to. So anyway, these old things are really nice. There's the griffin. I put one point into weight. You see where it says that weight sign it says 33 slash 1. That means I put one point into weight so far.
gotta level up, huh? Oh, is that a Carno? It's a Carno. There's the Carno. Raptor 45. Supply crate. It gave me a lance. Those things are useless. It's only good for like if you're gonna, you know, joust with people like in the medieval times. That's what it's for. Okay, is this the wrong side of the mountain? Yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the mountain. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm too weighed down. Do I have a lot of shit on me? Oh, I got a bunch of meat, that's why. Anyway, let's go take a look at the base. I pretty much finished it. It's all metal and it's painted. I got the basics done. Here's the new water base. So I made it big enough. I managed to stretch it so that you can land the wyvern on it. Even though you're not going to want to keep it in there forever, that's for sure. But that's the way that is. As you can see, I kept the, the traditional colors. And uh, there's a silver on the top. I left that because I don't want to bother going up there and trying to paint it. Here's one of the doors. There we go. So it's got two floors in the back. Now I put a bunch of room here in case anything tries to bite through the wall. It shouldn't reach any of the critical equipment, theoretically. And there's this, this uh, forge. Here's the meat burner thingy. And I'm going to put 10 in there. And I'm going to bring the meat. Oh, uh, I lost fish. Find meat, pull. And then raw meat, pull. Done. Turn it on. There we go. Alright, so I'll get that raw prime meat cooked up as well. There we go. So anyway, I got this in here. Got meats. So I got a trough. I got this, this thing. I have just enough space. If I don't put it here, like against this window, I, I have enough space so I can put uh, one of the workbenches here. And I might be able to put the chemistry bench here in the corner because they wouldn't be able to reach anything in this area or this area. It's too far away. I should have put the window here. But anyway, I can still put it. I have my bed, at least one bed. And that's what I got so far. I just need to, I still need to make a chemistry bench because I've been kind of lazy that, that, that way. If you go up here, like here's the other side of the cage, you know, got some room there for the uh, guns. Put a couple of guns there. See, here's the in other side of the cage. Uh, this is the front side of the ship. I wasn't able to put any rails here. It won't let me do it, but I found out that one of the foundations I had under there was misaligned, and I think that's what caused a lot of problems. It was a misaligned foundation. And anyway, so if you go here from the ground level, uh, this is not the ship level at the bottom, but you go up. Oops. My boy's in the way. There we go. So, like, here's storage. I could also put the equipment up here if I want to. I can put the equipment up here. You can't reach it in this area. 
Now this storage is important because this is where you would put all the resources you gather over time and then you would take it into uh, you would take it out Let's see like here's more space up here this is where you would park your bird you know here's the top of the uh, forge here's the trap you see so we did a good job we got a couple of floors I wasn't gonna get this elaborate but it kept letting me put parts as long as it lets you put parts no reason not to you know that's why I didn't put too much on the, on the bottom of the ship because each thing you fill out down there uh, takes space, takes a part. So there we go. So I will be able to tame anything from an Allosaurus down in this cage just by dropping it in there. You drop it in there, go park your wyvern somewhere, cryo the wyvern, bring out your bird, come back over here, and then you can go down here. You go down here. All right. Go down here. You don't want to go out this way because here there's no real space to shoot. I just left it open so you can look. But there's no space to shoot. That's why there's a door in the middle. If this is only one square away from this, a big creature will reach through there and get you. So what you do is you do the other side over here. See, he's drifting already. He's drifting because there's drift on the ship. Anyway, so here there's two squares and I got a rail. I managed to get it to fudge it to where it'll get a rail out here. So you won't fall over unless you really back up into it. So there's a door on this side, right? So you can't, if it goes here, you can't really shoot it very well. But you can try to get it at an angle right there. That's the best I can do because I can't place anything there. Okay. So once it falls down, you have one, two, three different doors to try to get in here. Or you can just drop in from the roof, actually. You can just fall in if you have to. Um, I was going to leave a door like right there so I can just walk in there, but I didn't want to make it weak. So I wanted to make it sturdy. So as you can see, if a wyvern can fit in there, a wyvern can drop it off in there. They have that new creature that's a giant bug that can pick up a rex and a vault. That's interesting because what that means is that if you get one of those, you can actually use it to tame rexes and you don't have to go out into the field too often. You just fly around on your bug and tame whatever you want, essentially. Yeah. But uh, that's what I do in the wyvern, but I stick to aloes at the most. This would be good for taming a therizino or any other animal that I, I perceive I need. So that's that. Um, so it's, see, see it's drifting. As long as it drifts like that, it's kind of weird. That doesn't happen in other arcs, but I don't know why. So what I have to do is figure out why the, um, the notes are not visible. They have to be invisible, and that's a problem because I want to be able to gather them. I don't want to go without them. So there we are. Yeah, isn't that nice? Let's um, get on Speedy or on Robin, and we'll fly around. You see? Let me turn off the thing. There we go. You see? If a wyvern could fit in there... Pretty much I can drop anything in there. Isn't that nice? See, and this is all based on that mock-up I made out of thatch and wood and whatever crap I could find. Adobe, you know. I extended the foundations and I left the outer foundation, that pink foundation layer. I left it uh, the regular way because it, it contrasts a little bit. It gives it a little bit of style, I guess you could say. Uh, the rails over here are really nice. It's it's pretty nice. Yeah. I can't complain. Got silver tips. You can land your bird here and then get off. You know, park it like this and then get off when the other bird isn't in the way because I know I'll fall in the water there. But anyway, 
Now the back side concerns me a little because there's no door here or anything, but there's not much, you know, I'm pretty much at the edge on the on the back side. So I'm probably going to have to just uh, figure out some place I can put the um, guns and make those guns accessible. Normally what you do is you put a catwalk somewhere and then you put the gun on that or like right here you see that that ceiling there normally put the gun on that ceiling right there on the tip right here in the corner where the bird beak is facing out and that son of a bitch will, will do what 270 degrees or so worth of damage in all directions including up you know so even if I were to abandon my base and leave it there it'd still be protected from anything on the ground even a giga but the Giga and these larger creatures can reach through metal and destroy the equipment you have on the inside because the equipment is delicate and the physics aren't perfect. So, anyway. So there we go. Yay! Go, team, go. So, we're still searching for a Fomia. Um, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. There we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and let this one out. All right, Hellion. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's feather line, anyway. All right, so it's got plenty of meat. I, I'm assuming it eats meat. I mean, shit, I don't know. <laughs> I got my bug over here. He doesn't have any feces right now, but look at all the fertilizer he's made so far. Look at all the fertilizer he's made, just with the little bit that I've been able to find. Once we get that, and then we can make the citrus fruits, and then we can make bug spray and do caving and shit like that. That's what's going to work. See, so if I want to go up, it's like a submarine. And look out here. Look out in this direction. See? Got the meat burning. Put that prime in here. Help substitute my prime. Let that shit burn, burn, burn. And look out there. At one window here. Try to get all the win all the directions. And here's my boy waiting for me. There we go. Oh, I left it on. Shit, I hate it when I leave it on like that. Okay. So I'm going to take a break because I've been working on this a while and I need to do some other stuff. But uh, just I'd show you the new uh, boat. Boat's done. I just need to put electrical, put a refrigerator in there. Um, I can move this in there after I... Yeah, I got to empty all this stuff out of there, but I can move this in there. And... Um, make a chemistry bench. I've really been waiting on the chemistry bench for some reason. I needed cementing paste. I had to use a lot of the CP to make the metal parts. Let's see, do I have any? What should I do? Good. Alright. So I need a polymer and spark powder. 
polymer I gotta go get. Spark powder. It's a different story. I think I used it up making guns. Nope, I'll have to go make spark powder, so I won't be able to do that right now. Unless I want to take a hundred out of here. I can do that. So I just need to go get some poly. Well, I guess we can go and... Um, let's see if we can put this guy to work. Let's see what he can do. I got speedy on me in case things go bad. See if we can level him up a little bit. He's got too few levels on him. I wish this thing had a saddle though. The hell is that? Yeah, I don't think this thing's going to be taking on a sandworm anytime soon. Not much of garbage. Bunch of trash. Trash, trash. Okay, let's go out into the deep desert. I need to go pretty soon, so... Let me see if I can at least make the chemistry bench before I leave. Because it's pretty damn important, honestly. See how I'm doing it? Oh yeah, he doesn't have any meat. Vultures won't provide much meat at all. Thought I saw a worm. Of course, I'm probably seeing shit. There we go. Shit. Oh, it looks like his stamina is shit. this will work. But should be able to kill it. There we go. Damn, I don't like these things. They're so fucking weak. Remember, I just came out here for Polly.
So theoretically, you're supposed to go straight up, and then you go straight down. And that's what gives you the ability to fly fast. stamina of this animal and the uh, weight pretty much at this point see if there's anything good in this yellow one oh it's a 140 man <laughs> this Jesus this thing is gonna die if I don't kill it quick Okay, so, oh, he didn't harvest any poly, so he can't harvest poly. Shit. I didn't know he couldn't harvest poly. He can't harvest a polymer. So it's kind of like dumb to bring him out here then. Shit. Well. I've got the sword of power. My question is, she said she said he could do damage. I don't think I've ever done that. No, I missed. Hmm. Okay, so let's find a blank spot over here and swap out mounts. I'd be better off on speedy. Because Speedy will be able to harvest the poly. Alright, Speedy. You're just a little faster today, bud. Just a little faster. Okay, is that a mantis? Yes. So uh, Speedy will harvest the poly I need to make the chemistry bench, and by then we should be okay. There, see? 157 organic polymer. The other one can't do it. Boom. Speedy's like, I don't give a shit. Give me that now. Give me that now. <laughs> speedy, speedy versus uh, speedy versus death worm, right? Shit. <laughs> speedy can't do shit damage, but he's fast. That's why he's speedy. <laughs> oh, was this a border? I got a total of two. I'm going to try to get 300. I, I don't remember how much I need. I think it was 2 something, 250 maybe, but let me not risk it. I want to do all this. and then... It's too bad the griffin can't harvest the polymer. It would be nice to level them up a bit. Here we go. Should be another one right there. Three of them. Very good. Should be more than enough. So you just hit them with the claws and most of the time they can't reach you. But you have to really, really have a delicate balance there. I wish I could get a good RG saddle. Because primitive RG saddles suck. See all the damage you're doing to me?
After this, we go home. Boom! We gotta have like 500. Like 472. Okay. Close. Alright, see, there's the green obby, so I'm to the left. So we're at 56 minutes right now. I'm gonna grab this yellow. I'm gonna go home, make the chemistry bench. I gotta fool around with it and place all the electronics later. I do have most of them made. It's just it's gonna take a while because I gotta also transfer some of that stuff over. Uh, we got a Mastercraft Sarco saddle. It's too bad Sarkos aren't tougher. They always get killed quick. It's the only thing I don't like. It's, they really die fast. Looks like Speedy is going pretty damn fast, huh? Shit. God damn, Speedy. Let's get some Stam. There we go. Oh, I'm farther from home than I thought. I left my baby over here, poor guy. Forgot about him. I'm so excited. There we go. There we go. That crunching is that creature eating. He was hungry. All right, so we got the poly. Let's put all that away. Mm. Organic polymer should be enough, theoretically. There we go. Turn it on, make this. And then this, I would need more metal. Okay, so I wish I could make that, but anyway, got that, got that. Should make some get. Uh, I should make a run for some more black pearls, and just bring as many as I can, because uh, those things are important. So I wanted to make more of this. I need more metal. I think I have enough. Okay, I do. So I'm gonna be like, all right. So let's do. We can do one. We can always use more space. 
and the rest of this stuff is going to have to wait. Um, I'll make four more of those. One of these. Uh, I don't think I need four. I might just make two. And, um, no, 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 no. Yeah, this one takes 3,000, almost 4,000 poly. The only way I could do this is if I kill a shitload of mantises at one time. And we know that's not going to happen. The most I'd get is maybe 2,000 at the most. And that's if the desert is full of those mantis. So that's why I'm like, eh. I'll wait for that bow. I'll wait till I get a, uh, 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 not a tech transmitter, uh, tech replicator. Because the tech replicator will be able to have enough space to accommodate all that. But not this thing. These things, even if I did hard poly, I'm not sure it would stack enough to equate to this. And I would. it would be a lot of polymer to do that and a lot of heavy obsidian to do that. I mean, it's not impossible, but, you know, once that bow gets used up, you got to repair it, and it takes all those resources again to fix it. So it's a perpetual thing. The good thing is it's high, high you know, it's 415. The bad thing is that it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's like anything else. So anyway, uh, let's see. There's the obsidian. That'd be hard poly. All right, so... The other way to do it is there's a device that supposedly transforms organic polymer into hard polymer so that you just keep accumulating the hard poly. That's possible. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Okay, let's get peppermint over here. Park this guy. I put everybody else in cryo to save him. Oh, he's got points. There we go. All right. Put Speedy away. Put the griffin back out. Put the griffin out over here. Yeah, I'm not really taming anything, so, you know. There's no reason to have everything out if I'm not taming. Let me show you the vault because I converted over. I got rid of the uh, like here's the uh, here's the vault for all the all the cryos and all the animals I've tamed. Doesn't require any electricity. And I put the fertilizer in there too. I don't know why that's there. But uh, anyway, there we go. And now we got that extra vault. We got the chemistry bench. It's too bad the vaults don't fit on the ship. They're not allowed to be put on the ship. I guess they're too heavy. But anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and call it. We're at about an hour and five minutes or so. And just thought I'd show you the ship, what I've accomplished. And uh, I'm going to go up here, put this meat in here, and then probably log on. And uh, that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. Lay down in bed and log off. All right, take care. Have a good one.